In this video, I will show you how to update Roblox on a PC or laptop. So in order to do this, it's very, very easy. And to actually update here, all you want to do is actually load up roblox.com and you want to load up any game. So once you click the play button to load up a game, then it, you're going to see it's going to get a Roblox now loading, get ready. And generally what's going to happen when it starts up Roblox, this is going to automatically update. So sometimes it is the case that it doesn't always update when you start up a game. So if you are experiencing that and you're getting like problems loading up games or you're getting error codes or glitches with the games, then the best thing to do is actually to uninstall and reinstall Roblox. By doing this, what you're going to do is actually download and install the latest version of the Roblox player, which is of course going to be the most up-to-date version and it's going to prevent any sort of glitches or error codes or anything along those lines. So if you've tried this and for example you've been getting an error code and you've gone ahead opened up a game and it's not updating for any reason what you're going to want to do is come back to your desktop like so and come down to the bottom left hand corner and in the search box down here you're going to want to type add or remove and then you just want to click onto the add or remove programs app that's going to come up in the menu and what's going to happen this is going to load up the apps and features menu so this is where you're going to come to actually uninstall roblox so to do this what you want to do is click onto the search box here and you can just simply go ahead and type roblox you'll see this is going to load up the roblox player so all you need to do is give this a click and you'll see the uninstall button down here so what you want to do is go ahead and uninstall roblox like so and then to reinstall roblox all you need to do is come to roblox.com and once you log in you want to click onto any of these games and what's going to happen it's going to reinstall the roblox player and of course by doing that that's going to install the most up-to-date version therefore preventing any glitches or error codes from popping up so i hope you found this video helpful today if it did help you out then i would really appreciate it if you did leave a like on the video and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials for everything tech and digital related so with that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.